World Championships. It's one match down in the final segment on day one of the finals. We've got the doubles tomorrow, it's singles today. We've got two finals to come in the women's and men's. And next up, the fight for the bronze medal in the men's section. We'll introduce the referee and the players shortly. It will be an all European affair as uh, Denmark takes on France. Our referee from Lebanon, a growing country in terms of the tech ball sport. Quite a good representation here of players and also of officials. There's the route to the final. The final will come later. George Jack is almost unbeatable, it would seem, at this level in singles up against his uh, longtime Polish opponent, Bouchak. Here's Shadi Ganem, who is the lead official in this men's bronze medal playoff match. And he'll be assisted by Kisim Al Hassan. So the first ever Danish player to reach the last four of a world championship. It's Brian Thompson. Comes from Christiansfeld. And the Danish, thanks largely to Brian, really making an impact in tech ball in the latter part of 2023. His opponent in this bronze medal match is Hugo Rabo of France. A veteran now at the age of 34. He's been around this sport for so long. But it's for him too, the first time ever he's reached the last four of the singles in a world championship. Well, Rabot hoping to do what he did in Krakow in the summer when we were in the old square, when he came back from a semi-final defeat to win the bronze medal. Lost the semi-final, by the way, to Apple Georgia. So Brian Thompson, also no spring chicken, 32 years of age, but has switched very successfully to take ball. And as he's played, the more experienced players, he's managed to improve his game as well. Hugo Rabot lost in the semi-final to Adrian Dushak, nine and eight. Did lose one set. Very surprisingly, in qualifying as well, was the only semi finalist to drop a set before the last four. Face an Algerian, Ferry Greene, won the final set by 12 points to two. Well, nearly six months ago, was beating Chaba Banya for the third place finish and the bronze medal in the European Games. The first time ever that Tech Ball has been in a major multi sport event. And the obvious goal is to hopefully make the Olympics. Won't be featured in the US in 2028. First set. Of course, it'll be now serving. the next Olympic Games next summer, all being well, and they'll be in the nation that is First represented set. by Hugo Rabo. So, the Frenchman gets us underway. Out. Point a bit of miscontrol there from Thompson. His first touch was good, set it up nicely, couldn't. Put it down the blind side, as it were, the narrow Person. angle. See more power with the male serve. Just a uh, hit there. It might have been a, a double touch front. from Thompson, but didn't hit the table anyway, so no need of a review or an intervention from the referee. First service. Rabot's last event was in Pula in the incredible setting of the amphitheatre. For those of you who've been longer term checkers and not newbies, you might have watched that one with us. Dinko with the net, the shorter. Oh, point to team France. Laying it up short, known as a harvester, cutting the crop low and First failing service. to give your opponent any option to get underneath the ball and reaping the rewards. Thompson now in for a sniper ahead. Nicely executed, but Rabot controlled oh. it well, but point not well enough with his third touch as he tried to attack Change himself. Service. And Thompson now gets off the mark. Team Denmark. First service. Thompson plays with the Britse Tech Ball Club. Going on the attack again, but Rabot with good defence. Oh, improvised the shoulder, down. but couldn't take it. A little wag of the finger for Thompson to say, don't underestimate me, I'm still here. Hugo has been around long enough. First service. 
knows everything. Nah. Quite often. Second service. To uh, use an old expression, although the wrong sex, the bridesmaid, not the bride, Hugo Rabo, so often the nearly man. Point to Jim So applied to his long time yeah. doubles partner, Amelie Julien. Always getting close, always in the latter stages, never quite lifting as many titles as you think there. Talent and play First deserves, service. but did win his third and fourth titles in the spring of this year. In April and May, had great success over the pond, over the Atlantic in the United States. Having to do some defending here, that's an awful lot of distance and well chested back, but Thompson remains on the front foot. Rabot setting herself up here. Oh, stabbed it, was a little too close for the swing. Thompson. Good effort, great rally this one. Rabot will have to chest it back again. This time Thompson, I hope you set himself up for that left foot, Point but can't control France. it, into the net it goes. Great defence from Rabot, and he's rewarded with the point. Because of the mistake by Ogo, Ugo, uh, by Thompson, and Hugo Rabot takes the point. This is how it happened in real time. Thompson really ought to have at least given Rabot something to think about there, but did the point away with the unforced error. First service. 5-2 then. Although just threatening to pull away here. He is strong favourite to take the bronze oh. here now. Point with Dean hit anyway. I think it was probably over halfway. Service. To be called. Now serving. That's where the Team second front. referee, the assistant referee, comes in on the opposite yeah. side of the table, almost directly underneath First the camera service. as you're watching your screen. Out. And the VAR camera is second service. Precisely positioned as well, right on the halfway line. My boss was lining that one up a little earlier in the day when preparations were going very early this morning. Thompson with the header, Rabo coming back, just about got it away before halfway. Thompson didn't think so, looks queryingly at the referee, decides not to use his option to review. And Sangal won't tell you whether he was over halfway or not, but the reaction from the day when he couldn't control it. Clearly, first service. It's going to be an illegal attack. Net. Second service. I think uh, Thompson was a little guilty there, expecting it to be not coming back fairly. Now he's in a good position, but Rabot can defend and does defend a long distance. Great header, but it should come back with some interest this one as well. But great positioning and good control from Rabot, turning defence into attack beautifully. Now the Dane Point just can't defense. quite make it. A great recovery himself. There is Amelie yeah. Julien. Doubles force they've been First for service. a good few years now. One of the earliest to take up the sport in France. Oh. They've been flying the Gallic flag for years now. In the early stages, this sport was utterly dominated by Romanians. But the spread continues. First service. The first World Games outside of, of uh, Europe couple of times and we're staging the world championships edge ball so this one will be replayed you'll get a close-up look of how it happened just first the back of the table so another first service doesn't matter whether you were second server not previously good angle created by Thompson Bo doing the same now is that an edge, edge ball or side edge to say looking the way it bounced up you would have to agree had it been the side should have bounced back so still we play on to try to find the winner of this twelfth point. Out. He didn't miss much while you were looking at the replay. It was second service. Serve that failed to hit the table. Good second serve that. Not much power on it, but great direction Out. and never point under control point. of the Danish player. So 9-3 here in Rabot is powering his way towards this first Change serve. service. It would seem. Now serving Team Denmark. His first World Championship semi-final ended in disappointment. Performed pretty well and was in it in both sets. First service. Bowed out nine and eight to Adrian Duchat. Single specialist, really, Duchat. Can Rabot do it from there? Oh, no, is the answer. Thompson may be a surprise semi finalist, but gained only nine points in his semi against the world number First one, George Duchat. Oh, in with the sniper header, but Thompson was across it. No, Thompson will have to use a different part of the body this time. Mm, goes with the foot, and it's good enough. The header 
followed up by the smash with the left foot. Gives Brian Thompson from Christiansfeld in Denmark the point to stay in the set. Still three points needed for the Frenchman to wrap up the first set here in this bronze medal match. First service. Coming to you from Bangkok, the World Tech Ball Championships. Out. 2023. Second service. Swap the orange. Net. It's traditional for Tech Double Ball. Double four. Point to team first. Violet colour, I guess it is. We saw there if the uh, ball touches any part of the net, First it's usually a, a fault. During an open Point rally, would be allowed, but during a serve, cannot touch the net. Change of service. Now serving Team France. So 16 points gone, four lots of four. The serve goes back to Ugo Rabul. And he knows that just two of the next four serves will give him the victory. Second service. There's two titles he won back in the spring in April and May. One in Miami, oh. one in LA. Point to Team France. First one was in the men's doubles with Bana Kovacvi, but the Set second one was France. with Amelie Julian, who we've seen here supporting Rabo. First service. And he has now five set points Point and needs only France. one, a comprehensive first set to Hugo Rabo. C'est très bien, monsieur. 12 points to six. And Amelie is there to support him and hand in his water. Well earned. One minute break between the sets, that's all. You can see the time break clicking down the big screen, big screens around this arena at either end. Well, he was never behind, always on top and sealed it very nicely indeed. Hugo Rabot with this point and microcosm of the first set as a whole, really. Rabot always on top and glimpses of what Thompson's capable of, but never in control of the set, never in control of that point. And so 12 points to six, the opening set goes to the Frenchman. Let's have a look at the statistics from that opening set then. Well, no winners for either, but the unforced error count was what edged it for Rabot in 10-6, and also he was the more, more powerful player might have been a winner in there somewhere along the line but uh, when you hit a ball and then it's involuntarily controlled it's pretty much like a winner but not a clean winner and that's now why these statistics say zero so second set then Full service. already had one bronze medal match ending straight sets will this follow the same route the clever money tells you it will Rabo over halfway there but only after he played the ball that didn't matter it's legal and again puts that away clinically looking in good form here Hugo Rabu super strike just so many different variations different parts of the foot it's a very technically skillful and some say the purest form of football in terms of using the foot to control the ball and other parts of the body as well and the header into the net from Thompson, who looks a little dispirited now, looks like he's lost the belief in his first ever appearance in the last four of the World Championship. First service. His most recent tournament in uh, Pula, lost in the second round of both the men's and mixed doubles. And hasn't, on too many occasions, gone deep into tech ball tournaments, major tournaments on the tech ball tour. Excellent. Oh, that's unlucky. Didn't drop a set until he reached the last four, but had a fairly comfortable route, one might say. Let's have another look at the edge ball here. Really should have made that count, should have got it back on the table as a whole. But gets another Both chance on serve at 0-2. Yeah, did lose a lot of points at a couple of tight sets where might not have been expected for someone who's risen rapidly through the rankings. Brian Thompson, Rabo setting this one up Point and brilliantly finished. Nabo danced through the group stages, a much tougher route for him. But with form like that, dismiss the improving Ukrainian Oleg Usyshenko for the loss of just six points Pusses. in the round of 16. And then beat the oh. mighty figure in 
Tech ball of Adam Blazovic in the quarterfinals. 12-7, 12-11. Real shot. But there wasn't a Hungarian. Point team France. In the semi-finals of this event either. Doubles is where they've become more dominant. Singles have been caught up by many other nations, including Rabo Thompson. Good three touches, but Rabo is still there. Delicate, really nicely done. Just took the pace off, a little bit of a slice. And an appreciative audience. Oh, he's apologising. I think Thompson said to him, you got lucky there, didn't you? Now, was it a deliberate slice? Yeah, that's fine. I don't think you should apologise for that. To 5-0. Clean sweep of his opponent's serve and looking to do the same on his own four. Two touches there from Thompson, so had to hurry it back. Gives the advantage there to Rabot when you don't have to defend on your first touch. Makes it so much easier. Point to team and France. forced Thompson so far back there that he had to defend. Couldn't get it under control until he was a long way from the table. And consequently lost the point. First service. So a real run of points here at the end of the first set and the start Action. of this second. The bronze medal is disappearing over the horizon now. New Danish hopes service. of getting a first medal in the World Championships are a real long shot now. First things first, just wants to get off the mark, but Rabo is in no mood for mercy. Ron puts him again, expecting to cross the table, and once again, just delicately placed it to either side. Coming up, the finals of the singles and the gala match featuring Ronald Gino. Julien out reached the quarterfinals the French competitor in the women's singles Net. lost to King Double of Barabashi who won the bronze medal a little Double early service. in the first match now of this service. evening session here in Bangkok Net. on day one of the finals first service. but will Hugo go one better and get the bronze medal here himself Looks like it, despite the first point from the day. Might get a second here as well as he pushes Rabo well back. A good recovery from the Frenchman, but she'll, still should come back with power. Just that second touch there, lost control a little bit and smashed it into the net. Brian Thompson, bitterly disappointed with that, I'm sure. And just a great experience from him, but he'll only realise that, I guess, later. It'll be full of disappointment and regret night right now. Net. 131 male athletes at the World Championships, the biggest ever entrance. And so just pat yourself on the back for making the second last four for the first time ever. The 32 year old serving now 1 8 net. in the second set. Double four, point to team Again, a little bit unlucky just clipping the net. And even though it landed in, I on the table squarely, it's still a fault. And the double fault first takes Rabo one point near a victory, just three away now. Trying to Point delay to what might seem to be the inevitable. Good hit from Thompson. Make good connection here. Was under control on that second touch, which he failed to do previously. Rabot's turn to have the missed touch. And again, one of those that First deserves service. to go down as a winner. Maybe we should have winners and clean winners. The stats boys will be telling me off later for suggesting new categories. Great recovery. Got the applause Four. here. Oh, he's over attack. halfway. Point to team France. Well, so unlucky. It was a fabulous piece of defending. And Thompson even congratulates Rabo sportingly for a sensational recovery. Oh, he's going to review it, is he? I don't know whether he's got time. I mean, he might be out of time. You have to make it immediately. What a piece of control that was. Let's have a look. Oh, I tell you what. I think, had he reviewed that immediately, he probably would have got that overturned, you know. It's the point of contact, and it looked like it might be just, just behind the line. But it's got to be a clear and obvious error, and if it was like just touching the line, it probably wouldn't have been overruled. Anyway, it's a, a matter for history now, and unlikely to change the course of the medal that surely is going to France. Trying to put that one away, but they 
Header back from Tonson was deep, but not enough power Ball on it. In Lovely shot, straight down the middle. Great smash, and it is match points match for Hugo Rabo. A smile on his face. Austin looking very serious, but knows there's no pressure now. He's able to enjoy himself after the disappointment in the semis. That's a good hit from Thompson. No, you're kidding me. Oh, wow, what a point. What a recovery. Oh, we'll have to do it all again because of the edge ball. Oh, c'est magnifique, Emilie. What a touch from Rabot. He can't believe he did that. I guess it's the sort of thing you can do when you're at 11 2 and sitting comfortably without the pressure. Had it been 9 all or 11 9 down, who knows? But how did he get this back? Even our cameraman was uh, not able to see what was happening with that one. So great excitement in the Great Hall, the Bangkok Arena. But it is, after all that, still match point. For service. And still Rabot to serve, 11-2. Again on the attack, the Dane, but it's Rabot going in for oh. the kill. Missed oh, it, it. goes long. A reprieve again for Brian Thompson. Twelve thousand arena here, more, more people arriving all the time for the finals themselves, and also the arrival of Ronaldinho. But bronze. that is the end of the bronze medal match. The third place playoff goes to Hugo Rebo, and very comfortably as well, losing just nine points in the process. Comprehensive win. It went the way we expected, but great strides being taken by the Danish player, Brian Thompson. Denmark making their presence felt on the big stage. And no bigger stage than the World Championships in Bangkok 2023. Ugo Rebo will be on the medal podium a little later when we have the presentation. So before that, a couple of finals, but let's... Have a look now at the crowning moment for Ugo Rabo, the moment that he guaranteed the bronze medal in the World Championship.